Drake May will be continuing a family legacy at North Carolina and is the future of the Tar Heels program. Although we probably won't get much playing time this season behind Sam Howell, Drake May should be a name you will know in the future. But who is Drake May? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate pro athletes. If there's a player you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Drake May was born on August 30th and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. May comes from an extremely athletic family. His father, Mark, chose to play football at North Carolina over some of the top football teams in the country, including Alabama. He was a Moorhead Scholar, which is one of the most prestigious academic honors at UNC, and left the Tar Heels having three of the most prolific passing games in school history. He would play one season with Tampa Bay before returning to North Carolina as a graduate assistant of Mac Brown's staff, where he met his future wife. May's brother Luke won a national championship in basketball for North Carolina, hitting a game winner against Kentucky in the Elite Eight. His brother Cole also won a national championship in 2017 as a relief pitcher for Florida, who won the College World Series. Drake's brother Bo played basketball before having his career derailed by injuries. Growing up, Drake played football, basketball, and baseball, benefiting from playing on elite AAU basketball teams and select 7-on-7 seven -seven football teams. May could have been a great pitcher in high school, but chose not to play. May transferred to Meyer Park High School before his sophomore year. Meyer Park was loaded with Division I prospects and sons of current NFL players such as Mussin Muhammad, Dre Bly, and Josh McCown. May quickly became a star at Meyer Park, throwing for 3,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, leading Meyer Park to the state semifinals as a sophomore. He played even better as a junior, often sitting most of the second half due to the Mustangs having big leads. One of those big games was against rival South Mech, who was coached by former Meyer Park assistant Joe Evans, in which May completed all 13 of his passes for 230 yards and 3 touchdowns en route to a 47 0 win. Evans told The Athletic after the game, I don't think he threw an incompletion. If you would have taken it easy because it was me, I would have given him hell after the game and been like, you don't take it easy on anybody, I don't care who it is. He's one of those kids where you know exactly what he's going to do, you just can't stop him from doing it. You can game plan all you want. Meyer Park's coach recalled a story about May during the team meal. May is a picky eater and was not eating the food. Chadwick jokingly told May he was going to play like crap because he wasn't feeling well during the game. Chadwick told The Athletic, he's like, nah. I'm not feeling that bad, and then he pauses, and he looks up and goes, and I never play like crap, dead serious as he can be. I don't even remember the game, but I'm sure he went out that night and threw for 304 touchdowns, and we probably won by 40. May was also his toughest critic, which helped him be so successful. Chadwick recalled his favorite play from May, which was actually an incomplete pass, saying, we're going into the halftime and Porter Rook was the closest guy. And Porter looked at me and he goes, I looked back and saw May was under pressure. So I stopped running because I figured I was already too far downfield. I went back and looked at the film. He threw that thing 65 yards without even stepping into the throw under pressure. May finished his junior year throwing for 3,512 yards, 50 touchdowns and 2 interceptions, while also rushing for 201 yards and 6 touchdowns on the ground. Meyer Park finished his season with a 12-1 record, losing in the North Carolina 4 AA State quarterfinals. May was named second team All-American and Max Prep North Carolina Player of the Year as a junior, while also being tabbed first team All-Observer and the Observer Male Athlete of the Year. On the basketball court, May averaged 16.1 points per game and 11.3 rebounds per game, earning All-Conference and All-District honors. Going into May's senior year, he was named an SI All-American candidate before the season was postponed due to the global health crisis. May decided to enroll early in college, resulting in him missing a senior season, describing it as heartbreaking. Meyer Park was supposed to play a game at Bank of America Stadium and in a nationally televised game against Trinity Christian, a school in Texas that was quarterbacked by Deion Sanders' son. May was asked what he will remember most about his high school career, answering, probably just those Friday nights. You take it for granted sometimes as a high school football player, especially missing my senior year, never walking out on senior night, just kind of those Friday nights, throwing touchdowns, spending time on the sidelines with teammates, and those big playoff games. Before May left for school, he met up with Chadwick thanking him for coaching him. Chadwick's only request was a seat in the green room at the NFL draft in three years, which caused May to laugh. Chadwick believed in his high school quarterback telling The Athletic, he is far from cocky and very humble, but he's also extremely confident, takes a lot of pride in what he does. He doesn't want to be the worst of the May brothers, and that's important to him. 
It's going to be important to him to go to Carolina and not constantly be Luke's little brother. He's going to want to be Drake May, and he's going to want to make his own name for himself. Coming out of high school, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Drake May was a four-star recruit who's the third best player in North Carolina, eighth best quarterback, and 55th best player nationally. He received over 16 offers from the likes of Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, North Carolina, and Ohio State. Originally, May narrowed his final school choices down to Alabama and Clemson, two of the best programs in the country. He originally wasn't giving North Carolina a lot of thought, but was 5-14 in Larry Fedora's first two seasons. Chadwick told The Athletic, at the time, in Drake's own words, he would tell you in October at the football games, the conversation was, how's the basketball team going to do? And that wasn't what he wanted. Then North Carolina brought back Mac Brown in 2018. May had taken a handful of visits to Tuscaloosa, which resulted in him committing to the tie during the summer of 2019. Then, Bryce Young flipped to Alabama from USC, who was a year older than May, and North Carolina finished 7-6 with a bowl win in year one under Brown. May still stayed committed to the Crimson Tide while Nick Saban and Steve Sarkeesian came to one of May's basketball games to watch him. May never stressed about the process with Evans saying he'd been in huge big moments either as a fan or a player. So I think when he got to the recruiting part of it, it was just the way it was supposed to go. I mean, the kid sat second row at Carolina games for four years and saw some pretty big moments. After watching the success Howell had combined with his family history, May started to shift to North Carolina. Just before COVID-19 hit, May told his head coach he was going to flip to North Carolina. Chadwick told him, you're the one that's going to college, not me. But I'm not calling Coach Saban. You're going to have to make that call. May called Saban eventually, in which Saban handled the situation perfectly. May told The Athletic, I was dreading for about a couple days leading up to it. I kept on pushing it back when I was calling him just because he came to a basketball game and watched me play. I've been down there five or so times sitting in his office. Sitting there talking to Coach Saban, it's pretty cool. Saban tried to talk me into taking an official visit to both schools before making the decision, in which May responded, I said, Coach, I think my mind's already made up. I've been sitting on it for a couple weeks now. It's what I think is the best decision for me, to go forward and be a Tar Heel. It wasn't too long of a phone call, that's for sure. Now, May is officially a Tar Heel. According to 24-7 Sports' Greg Biggins, May is projected to be a future first-round pick with a comparison to Sam Bradford. Biggins writes, May is a player we still really like as someone who should be able to compete for playing time early in college. Has a big, strong frame and is still filling out. He's a pure pocket passer who reminds me a lot of Alabama quarterback Mac Jones, but is better athletically. He has a strong downfield arm and is very accurate at all three levels of the field. He has advanced feel for the position in terms of throwing early and anticipating and understanding how to throw his wide receivers open. He shows toughness standing in the pocket, taking shots to get throws off, and will run for plus yards when he needs to. He can continue to improve his ability to extend plays and make plays outside the pocket, but it's not an area we would call a weakness either. Has the physical tools and cerebral nature to be a very good player at the next level, as well as a high round NFL draft pick. Back in January, May moved into North Carolina, where he took classes virtually. Mark told The Athletic, we're all from North Carolina. This is where he belongs and where he needs to be. During the 2021 season, May is not expected to play and is more likely going to be the future of the Tar Heels program rather than the present. But what do you think? Will Drake May be the future of the North Carolina football program? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.